Let's hear you sing. Just had a wee conference there. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> We're trying to work out what to get Sue for her birthday. That's fine. <laughs> 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 anyway, we um, touched talking about a uh, mythology earlier. We've obviously talked about that and what we did with the um, um, Celtic Thunder on the, the last fall tour there, and uh, I, I think you know. For the, for the mythology, I think it was, it was the, the tour we probably enjoyed most out of any tour with Celtic Thunder before, to be perfectly honest. And um, I think the thing about it was that, that, you know, we had a big input in the songs that we were singing this time around. And uh, we got to suggest a lot of the songs that we were singing. And uh, one of the songs that, that I always wanted to have in the show, but it never really got in the show, was a song that, that, that I want to do next. And it's a song that... Um, I've always loved it. I think it's it's for me. It was my favorite Irish song in Irish era that 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 I always loved singing when I was growing up. And it's the song Carrick Fergus. And, um, you know, so, so I suggested it to David Munro, and, and, and lucky enough, he he was uh, he thought it would be a good good one to have in the show as well. And. Uh, just, just as you know, I suppose they always have an attachment with with the song. But then, last year when the song was uh, well, I suppose twenty twelve now, when they were we were uh, getting the songs ready to, to be recorded in the studio, so we could go in and record them, record, record our vocals on them. I decided to fall down some stairs and <laughs> end up in the coma, as you all probably know, or some of you know anyway. The thing about it was that, that David Moreau came to me after I decided to wake up and um, <laughs> he said that uh, <laughs> I'd never been applauded for waking up before, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> but um, no, uh, and he had said to me that, you know, when they, they were putting down the actual track uh, for, and he was arranging the Carrick Fergus song for me, it was the time when I was actually the first early days of me being in the coma and he didn't know whether I'd ever sing the song, or whether the song would ever be made for me or not, you know, because who knows where I was going to be. So I think it probably gave me even a greater connection to the song than ever before, you know, and it's why I do love it, and, and I love singing it, and um, it's a beautiful that's song. right, I want to sing it for you tonight, yeah. if that's okay. Yeah. This is very fun to see, just to see firsthand just the work that these people do, um, and basically just to see the work that needs to be done. Um, to me, I suppose, when I first thought of the the whole thing of, of the leprosy and the disease of leprosy, it, it's, it sounded like a biblical disease that you read about and, you know, couldn't still be happening in, in this day and age, in the modern age, but the reality is it is, and it's a, it, it's, it's, it's a massive problem. And I think, you know, I've, it certainly changed my whole uh, I guess my perspective on, 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 on what we have and, and what we're lucky to have, um, yeah. or just to see how, you know, th these people need our help. And it's not just, I mean, what the leprosy mission does, it doesn't just help people with leprosy, but it, it, what it tries to do is just help these people who are in, in dire, dire poverty. And just to try, what, what they try and do is if, if they can and somehow reduce the, the, the level of poverty, then that in turn reduces the conditions, the, the, improves the conditions these people are living in so that the likes of, of um, the poor wee children who are contracting leprosy, um, that happens less and less. And uh, it's amazing the work that these people do and the work that the Leprosy Mission does. And we, we've seen some, I mean, as much as we saw some devastating stories and we're in villages where there's a lot of devastation going on, we saw a lot of the great work that's been done as well. And for, you know, you go to people's houses and someone has built a new house and it cost them sixty dollars to build this house, their home, their home, and they're just so overjoyed to have a new house. And we're, th and, you know, I was going home thinking, I'm thinking about Christmas and thinking yeah. about buying presents for people, and you think, God, look what that money can do. And it's why, you know, without going on, I don't want to preach about it, but it just sort of, I just want to tell you how much it changed me and it changed my view of, 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 of the charity and how the work that they do. And so when when Lapsy Mission knew that we were doing this. This tour, they asked, they asked me and, and, and Angie and Neil, um, 
would we would we be okay if we uh, made it feasible for for anyone here who, who would like to um, to basically what they try and do is, is is they if you can give become a member or become a donor for the Lapsy Mission and, and what they want to do if you sign up for twenty nine dollars a month which is say is less than a dollar a day um, it can basically change numerous people's lives and uh, so so they, what they wanted to do was just you know us to sort of talk about it here and then have the uh, the opportunity for you to do that at, at our, 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 our gigs here um, Angie has forms there and you know she'll happily help you through filling the, the form in if, if you wish to do that there's there's obviously no obligation at all um, what we would have done is just if anybody does fill one if anybody does become a member we're, we're happy to give them a, a free album and we'll sign it for them tonight for doing that so just for doing that we sort of then I thought we'd run into the next song the song we're going we're to sing next is a song about um, the Irish famine and I suppose there is connections there because the Irish famine was a a time when, when there was a lot of devastation back home in Ireland and, and, and I guess that was a we've moved on to better times but this song sort of is at the heart of that and we tried to this. we wanted to bring that back to to um, to the song because the song I think I got lost over the years and that's why we wanted to have it back on the acoustically Irish album and it's why um, we, we think it's a beautiful song and it sort of tells the tale of a, a, of a, a husband and, and father who has to steal food to, to feed his children and he gets caught by the landowner and uh, gets sent away and that's what the song's about and we'd love to sing it for you now. Yes. So uh, this is The Fields of Athenry. Love this song. By a lonely prison wall I heard Thank you. 